Hey, afternoon everybody. I'm going to show you how to prepare for your respirator fit test. You're going to have this box that all of you should have in your clinic somewhere. Um, I just keep all my stuff together in it. It has the instructions in there, but I also have, I went and made some bullet point simpler to use instructions that are on the Google Drive that I've shared. Um, I will make sure that they get shared with all of the managers so that they can share them with their employees. And then you're going to have what we call nebulizers, not normal neb nebulizers like we usually use. One of them, number one, is red. It's called a sensitivity test solution. And it goes with the red label. This is like sugar water. You just pour about one teaspoon into the little bowl. This comes apart just like a nebulizer does. Into the little bowl. And then you're gonna put the lid back on. Now, what you wanna make sure that you clean these well, and there's these little pieces that come with it. And just in case it's clogged, have a little wire and it will go right down the middle in that little hole and make sure that when you wash it at the end, it's with really warm water and you do the same thing so that the sugar doesn't crystallize in there so that you get a good spray. So I just set all my stuff up um, before I pull my patient in usually, just like this. And then it's all there ready to go because it's kind of a little bit of a process. Your second nebulizer is Fit Test Solution 2. Has a black label. Don't get them confused. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but when you've had them for so long, there will actually form a sugar rock in the bottom of it. It's no big deal. As long as it doesn't say it's expired, you can still go ahead and use it. If I get them all right there, set them down. And you're gonna get your mask put together. This is the collar, this is the mask. There's a little rim here. And you have to put the mask over top of the collar. Can be a little challenging. And you're going to tie it to make sure that it doesn't come off anywhere. In the front of the mask, you'll notice there's a hole here. And that's where you're going to stick your nebulizer when you go to do your fit test. Just like that. How are you doing, Fred, today? Good. Did you bring your own mask? Did your employer provide you with a mask? No. Okay. <laughs> Usually your employers will provide the employee with the mask to bring or they will FedEx it to your clinic. Um, it should be like a M95 mask, particle mask, or if they are required to wear an actual respirator, it will be a respirator. For the sake of no one provided you one, do not do one of these to the employers. <laughs> We're just gonna use a regular medical mask today, okay? Are you claustrophobic? No. Good, because this kind of encases you. And yet, first of all, you're gonna explain to your patient if they are claustrophobic, just keep their eyes open looking at you, try and make it so we get through this. If they're claustrophobic, probably not a great idea to use respirator anyway. You're gonna place the hood over your patient's head and it just says, just on their shoulders. Okay, you're gonna have your mask on your patient and instruct them to take a nice big breath and then they're gonna poke their tongue out. And I'm not doing this, <laughs> that's actually what you have to do. And then you'll, you're gonna breathe with your tongue out. I'm gonna squirt this in 10 times and you're gonna tell me whether or not you can 
taste the sweetness. Okay? So take a breath first. Take a big breath and let out. And then you can just breathe normal and stick your tongue out while we do this. And your mask should be about six inches away from your patient's face, which it's kind of close, four to six inches. No taste of sweetness. Okay. Hang on, this might be clogged, it's not. Sometimes you will get clogs in them. What you do, if you have a clog, especially if you don't wash it out well after the last respirator fit test, you're gonna find a package in your box. It has a tiny little pin and a replacement top. The top just comes off just like that. Take your pin and there's just a teeny little hole here. Make sure you clean it out good. And then replace it with the new one. Now not everybody is going to be able to taste the sweetness on the first try. However, when you get used to it, you'll know that whether it's coming out or not, so, because you'll be able to see humidity coming out here. There we go. Now let's try that. Big breath, tongue out, and then just breathe normally. Doesn't need to be a whole lot, so if you can taste a little bit, then that's good. We'll put nebulizer number one down. All right, and then you're gonna instruct the patient. We're gonna take off the hood. We're gonna wait just a little bit until his mouth clears. Um, if they need a drink of water to get the taste out, you can give them a drink of water. Remember, you're not in a hurry to do this because you want to make sure their respirators fit properly. Next, so we did, after it was unclogged, we did 10 sprays. If your patient cannot taste it at first, you're going to do another 10 sprays. You need to keep track of how many times up to, I believe it's three or four, because that's how many times you're gonna do the fit test solution spray. So if you have to do three different sprays of 10, then you're gonna do the same with the fit test. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm gonna have you put this mask on. And then with their respiratory mask, you need to make sure that it's around their nose good, like they would be wearing it if they were in a situation that they have to have it, coxic chem chemicals, anything like that goes into their nose and mouth. Hey, are you ready? We're gonna put your, your hood on again and we're gonna do the fit test portion. So that portion was just the sensitivity test. Don't worry if it goes white crusty, that's quite normal. It leaks out and the sugars crystallize. So 
So just about a teaspoon. Okay, you can just breathe normally in your mask. I'm gonna spray this 10 times and then you're gonna let me know if you can taste anything or not, okay? And then I take it out, you're gonna give it a few minutes. And then you are supposed to Take a deep breath. Turn your head side to side. Now up and down and inhale deeply. And then you need to talk to me. You're supposed to do some, I don't care, ABCs. You can sing You Are My Sunshine, whatever you want to do. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. Um, and then you're going to bend over and touch your toes. So I'm going to hold your hood on. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and up. And then you're going to jog in place for 10 seconds. And you can hang on to that if you want. Very good. Okay. Whoa. Can, can you taste anything even with that mask? As long as they can't taste anything, your test is good. They've passed. We're going to take this off and let him breathe because it gets hot under there. Um, if after three attempts of this and they can taste something, they need a different respirator or they're not going to pass the test if that's the only one that their employer requires. Um, and then it's up to the employer of what they want to do with that. When you're all done, make sure, like I said earlier, that you rinse all this out with very warm water, take it all apart to get all the sugar crystallization out so that you make sure it's good to go for the next person.